Welcome to Transnistria! Welcome to Transnistria! Welcome to the country that does not exist officially. Transnistria or Pridnistrovian Moldovan Republic or PMR for short. Transnistria is a breakaway state that is located between Ukraine on one side and Moldova on the other side, and officially it's still part of Moldova. But for all intents, practical intents and purposes, it is a different country. It has its own banking system, its own police, its own border, everything, language as well. I mean, literally the moment you cross the border, there's a very hard to find anything written in Latin at all, even in Romanian. So everything is sort of like all around and it's Russian, 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 Russian. Let's talk about getting here first. So there's two ways for you to get here. One is from Odessa on the Ukrainian side and the other one is Chisinau from the Moldovan side. And I'm coming from Chisinau. If you are planning on doing the same thing and want to take the bus, you need to go to the central station. From there, you can take the bus to Tiraspol or Benderi, whichever city you want to stay in or want to see. It took about roughly two hours on the bus. On the way, we stopped at the border. My hotel had some submitted my registration card. If you're staying here, please ask your hotel to do that for you. They gave me a registration card and I came into the border and then basically into Tiraspol. I landed at the station, took a quick taxi and arrived at my hotel. I'm staying at the City Club Hotel, which is the four star place. And this is where I'm sitting at right now. All right, so before coming here, I heard a lot of stories about how it's not safe to come to Transnistria, Pridnistrovia. And I mean, I honestly didn't feel threatened at any point. It was super safe. Everyone's really nice and friendly. Everywhere you go, you ask a question, despite not knowing the language, the translators come out. So Anton and Daniel has something to say about that. Yeah, basically my country is safest place on earth. And uh, maybe because we have no tourism, but you have a chance to change that. So come and visit the country that doesn't exist and you will see that it does. And it's pretty safe here. So if you have expectations that it's very dangerous and you will lose all your money and your life and all these things, I'm sorry to disappoint you. It's very safe here. But if you, if you are into Soviet Union, into Orbex, sometimes we are like Chernobyl before Chernobyl and sometimes we are like Chernobyl after. <laughs> and if you're into landings and just peculiar countries because we are not recognized and it makes many things strange so no spoilers you will learn soon so see you in Overland. <laughs> the most challenging thing that i've found so far apart from language because no one speaks anything other than russian here so please learn spasiba at least that means thank you in russian the most challenging part has been the money. So it is roughly the same value as a Moldovan lei, a little bit of a difference, but these are the rubles that you have that are going to be used in Transnistria. Moldovan leis are not generally accepted, nor are euros or pounds or anything else. But the most interesting thing about this currency is the plastic coins. Nowhere else on the planet you have plastic coins, but you have them here. There's four different ones. So if you want to collect them, this is a good place to come. 
they don't have GSM SIM cards here and the banking system is all Russian. So re Visa, MasterCard, nothing works. So you can't withdraw any money. Make sure you come prepared. You have enough lay so you can convert them at the bank or at your hotel and you have free Wi-Fi around. So make sure you take advantage of that because your SIM card is not going to work. Even the Moldovan SIM cards do not work here, but the hotel has Wi-Fi and so does the central square and a lot of the cafes and blah, blah, blah. So you can use the Wi-Fi here. Let's see how good that is. I'll keep you updated on that. Alexander Nevsky Cathedral and that is the fortress I'm inside the Benderi castle now after some quick lunch at the Bastion Hotel it's right next to the fortress and this is a different city by the way so this is the castle the fortress more like inside and it's pretty much empty except for two museums so that one is the history museum and that one is a medieval torture museum which is a lot more interesting and it's quite fun to walk around the walls because you can see you know the, the quite a lot of area around so the castle was actually built by the Ottomans and it was built on the orders of Suleiman the Magnificent and obviously with time it changed hands and now it's part of Transnistria it's a good fun trip. If you're coming just for one day from Chisinau, I would recommend you stop here and then head to Tiraspol instead of going to Tiraspol and then coming back here. Even more important, if you're going to Odessa, then yeah, this should be done on the way. I am at the Bottles Museum, this one behind me. Now, I thought it would be like, you know, some dull bottles stored in a place and yeah, I need to see that. But I'm really impressed. Um, this has become actually one of my favorite things doing Transnistria. So I took a taxi from Tiraspol to here, uh, took about 15 to 20 minutes and then I did the tour. You need to book that in advance. This is also a hotel if you want to stay here. So I will put the link. You can get in touch with them. Uh, they're all Insta as well. Bottles Museum. What really impressed me is how well preserved and well presented this place is. They have more than 10,000 bottles from more than 100 countries, which is really impressive considering this is a private collection. They don't have any government backing. They don't have anyone funding them. So it's like a sort of like a personal artistic endeavor and it's amazing. And not all bottles are, you know, dull, boring kind of thing. They're really nice um, and some of them are really, really quirky. So I really enjoyed the tour. Um, it lasts about 45 minutes and uh, there's six different floors. You can get to the top and have a view, have a look around the entire place. And wow, you definitely have to do it if you come here. And for the price, that's only like three pounds. Well worth it, like totally, totally, totally worth it. So do not skip this one when you come here.
I am at the banks of the Dniester River and this river is the reason the country got its name. So it's called Transnistria which means beyond the Dniester River and uh, the land beyond the Dniester River which is interesting. So it's a great spot especially if you like sunsets and that's exactly why I'm here. There are also a couple of boats here which can take you around the river. I'm going to try doing that tomorrow. I don't think it's it, they're running at this time. It's a Sunday. So I'll try tomorrow if I get the time that is, but I'll try anyway. But yeah, I mean so far it's been quite an interesting experience the full day. It, the breakaway country has this, you know, sinister undertone to it, which I don't think is the case here. I mean, people are just sort of living and they're trying to make the best of the situation. I mean, they don't have good internet or they don't have this or that, but I don't think that's weighing them down it's just they're living with the best they have and there's a certain sense of there's something refreshing about that like you know getting back to basics and i did get a little bit of a um, feeling of what it would be like living in um soviet union so it's it's an interesting very different place for me i'm going to enjoy the sunset and then we'll talk more later see i wasn't lying I'm exploring Tiraspol and honestly it's quite easy to do that because one the city is quite small and very neatly lined and two everything pretty much everything is very conveniently located on a single street so starting from this this is the house of soviet or the parliament you have this really interesting church it is sort of like a pencil thin church i've never seen that before and then you have the tank monument you have the statue the monument of swarov then you go further the palace of culture you have the city hall going all the way up to the national theater so i am quite excited um it's a very different feeling being here it's sort of like a weird mix of soviet union and instagram it's a really weird marriage of of cultures of how things work and I've managed to find a local Anton who is giving me a tour of the place. So guys, I'm with Anton who is a local tour guide and if you come here, he's the best guy to go around with. He's going to tell Thank you a you. bit more about the country. Go on. Anton. Hello comrades. Uh, this is Pristina actually. That's the real name of the country. And uh, this tour is highly recommended by Vladimir Lenin himself. Check Wikipedia. So, see you in Pridnestrovia. We make cognac, not war. You've heard him. This is the National Theatre of Transnistria. There are only three countries that accept Transnistria as a country and they themselves are not recognized by any other country. These are Abkhazia, Ossetia and Gorno-Karabakh.
the memorial of World War II heroes. The House of Soviets or the Parliament with Lenin standing proudly. And now, here goes the magic trick. Da -da 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 to find one difference. All right, time to get some food. And today we're heading to a Soviet canteen. I just got my food from the cafeteria. It looks quite interesting. It's a hodgepodge of different things. So I'm gonna go try this. It's really nice, you know, the whole environment. It's really, really quirky. So I would definitely recommend a visit here. And it's on Lenin Street, by the way, if you're looking for it. Time for some food. By the way, this is mushroom soup, and I don't know quite a lot of the rest is meatballs and some chicken and some wheat. So I got a mix of things to try a few different things. And yeah, let's see. Quite good for a cafeteria, and it's also really, really cheap here, by the way. So it's really funny that the two big things they produce here is cognac and black caviar. And I mean, it's pretty expensive as well. So I sadly uh, couldn't go to Aquatir, which is the factory where they produce the black caviar um, because they're closed right now. But if you want, you can do a sparkling wine and caviar tour there. Quint is a brandy factory and you will come across all the different types of brandy and they do have other alcohol as well. They have different aging, different processes, and they will show you around the entire place, which was really interesting. I just finished my tour of Quint and it's basically another interesting place if you have the time. So there are two really interesting things in here. One is a bottle that has been in space. The second one is um, the room where the second floor where they have the barrels aging and the aroma and the um, it's, it's the thing, it's called Angel's Share by the way. It's the alcohol lost every year. Um, through the air and it's a weird feeling like you're drunk but not really drunk and it quickly passes as, as soon as you come out so definitely worth a visit for seven and a half dollars it was really fun so I'm gonna go check out their shop now and then we move on to the next stop let's go
I am with an old gal pal, Catherine the Great. Now, this is the end of our tour of Transnistria and I really hope you enjoyed this little thing with me. So, it was a very different experience uh, based on some previous videos that I saw. I thought it would be like, you know, broken roads and poor people and nothing to do, eat or meet, you know, it's been very different from that. People have been super nice and there's tons to see and do here. I mean, I didn't feel like I was overspending the two days that I spent here. It actually made me a lot more grateful for all the freedom, for all the privilege, for all the things that I usually take so lightly and I'm really thankful to Transnistria for that. If you like this video, please do let me know what you think. I mean, um, you should definitely come here. I would highly recommend it. And you should definitely support the locals here. They, they really need it. I mean it. Every single um, establishment that I've featured here, they're all sort of struggling to make ends meet because of the pandemic and generally how hard life usually is even without pandemic. So on that note, I will say goodbye and I will see you in the next video. You know the drill, you know, like, share, comment, blah, blah, blah. So see you in the next one. Bye. Guys, this is Brown Boy Travels. Let me know what you think of the video in the comment section. If I've missed something, please let me know. Also, give me some suggestions about your country. I will see you in the next video. Until then, you have an amazing day ahead. Mwah.